Hi, and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, we're gonna be doing something really, really awesome. I'm gonna be showing you guys how I edit kind of my pictures. Um, it's gonna be for an FFA that I was invited to participate from um, First Tone Travel. They have really, really nice pictures. You guys should definitely check it out during this time that we're all in self-isolation. Uh, I'm gonna be leaving all the links below so that you can check out their accounts and maybe you can participate in the FFA as well. Um, the first prize is really cool, so I kind of would like to make it. So guys, help me, support me. But let's get to it. Let's get to my computer. Your job is that There's no mystery about good shooting. Observe a set of simple rules and anyone can become a consistently good shot. So this is a picture I haven't really done much. Um, I just took out uh, this boat because I didn't like it. I, I, I have an idea on what I want to do. I want to do it a little bit um, in a short stash style so that you don't see. Let me just get more space. Okay, so first things first. I think the first thing that I do is always bump up like really high the exposure and then bump it down to just see everything that is inside the picture and immediately what I notice is kind of these riffs here you cannot really see them so what I would try would be um, to bring down the highlights to try and get more out of it I'm going to leave it here. Bring just a tone up the exposure. And here you can already see at the top that there is like another small island or something like that. So I'm going to be cropping it. Just to get the island. So what I want to do later is I want to put here in the middle the word distancing which could be really really cool um, I'm gonna put a little bit head of the tone up let's see what happens Getting too much green just a little bit into the blues um, the contrast, I'm going to be putting it a little bit up. Let's see what happens. So yeah, I'm, I'm going to be putting a little bit more of contrast because later on I'm going to really desaturate the colors. Um, I want like a moody, moody cinema look. Um, so yeah, the shadows, let me see. I think the shadows are really, really cool. I kind of, I kind of want to, I want to take down the shadows, but I also want all of this to be visible. So I think I'm going to put the shadows up. I'm going to make it darker later, maybe with a vignette. Um, be careful with the whites. The whites can be really tempting to put them too high. I think that's fine. Also, you can see this, this little house. Um, for the blacks, I'm going to leave them like they are. The texture, I'm going to leave it like it is. But now the clarity. Let's see what happens if we bring the clarity down. Okay. So I'm going just just a tad bring it down. Um, the haze I'm gonna leave it like it is, but the vibrance. <laughs> <coughs> I need the vibrance to go a little bit down. This looks already cool. This looks really really cool. So for the torn curve, if you press the option key. 
then you can make your dots without moving the tone curve it's something actually that I just learned recently and um, it kind of helps because your tone curve doesn't move like right away um, I like putting some shadows in, into my colors so what I do is I kind of bring it here a little bit up I'm, I'm gonna be doing an S curve really simple just checking out just a tad here a little bit here yes and then bringing it a little bit down here even though we don't have so many whites but if you look at here at the roof the roof has these lines and if we pull this down kind of get rid of this line so let's keep going let's move on to HSL sliders um, here's where, where it really gets interesting. I don't do this really often, but kind of what I like to do when I want to desaturate um, a picture is to desaturate them, first of all, evenly, all the colors. Because I'm gonna be putting, with split toning, a lot of color later into it and with vibrant. I want to go a tad into the turkey here, here a little bit more into teal, the greens I want them to be more in the yellows, You already can see here that the sand gets this orangey look. Now what we want to do is take the blues and farther desaturate them. And now it gets really interesting from what we were doing earlier. bit of the luminance of the sand the yellows let's see so we can see there where the little boats are that gets a little bit bright and the sand also next thing I'm gonna do it's going to be split toning and, and split toning is going to bring a lot of colors back into this image um, if you want you can also press option and then you see which color you have I want to go for this orangey color first um, just to see what it does I mean, it doesn't really do much this orangey color but we're gonna be checking it out once we have it. So if you want to see the color, it's a really, really nice dark blue. And here we're gonna go for one about eight. This was, and here you can, you can play around with it because this gives a lot of color back to, um, to the water. And obviously you also can change the, the color tone that you want. For example, here you have a little bit more of teal. Here you go a little bit more into the darker tones. I think I'm gonna leave it here. But 
but what I'm not liking is um, the amount of I think I'm gonna go for golden tone yeah let's just stay with the orangey look like um, a little bit like short stash let's just see so this is how the picture looked initially this is how the picture is looking now and the next thing we're gonna be doing is uh, calibrate so let's bring the red tones up and the saturation up there you can already see what's happening and this has changed the image drastically like really really drastically then let's take down the greens into the yellows um you can you don't have to the green i'm totally a fan of not making the green so bright i like to desaturate them But well, here we're going to do it a little bit higher. Let's take up the blue primary and let's take down the saturation. And this already looks amazing. This already really looks amazing. I'm still not liking here the grain. The image isn't that good. So I might do some sharpening. But I think we need some noise reduction. Because we brought a lot of noise into the picture. Now we can come up and really look like, okay, what well, would happen if we bring down or bring up the temperature? I think bringing down the temperature really made a difference here. Going to also try to put um, put a vignette to round up the co the borders yeah not too much maybe around 15 let's make the feather a little bit softer so that we can go a little bit farther this already looks amazing and now what I'm going to do with my brush is make a selection of this water. Because I want this water to be a little bit different. Just yeah, the brush was a little bit too small. get all of this water What I want to do is bring down the exposure, 
maybe bring down the temperature and that looks amazing that looks amazing like I'm not kidding I love it so here's Photoshop open and now There we go, now we can export the image. And that's it guys, that's all you gotta do. If you like this video and you want me to do more of the videos on how I edit uh, more of the photos from these guys, um, you know, like and subscribe to support the channel and just comment down below what you would have changed, what you would have liked to see more or um how you would have liked me to edit this picture and maybe i can edit another picture from the ffa with you guys